Hi, you guys. How are you today? It's early. I know it's the morning, but I thought I would come on and show you guys what I use for my highlight because so many people have been asking me in my live videos on my other channel. So I decided to come on this channel since it's more geared towards beauty and hauls and things like that to share what I put on the face. Okay, because everyone's always asking, oh my God, that highlighter, what is it? And hi, Tova. So hi, Anne-Marie. Okay, so here's what I use. My first two um, people to come live. Okay, so here's what I use. I use a lot. Okay, I use different highlights all together because not one thing can get you this type of glow. Okay, so the first thing I use uh, after I put on my foundation and concealer, I use this Becca a Skin Shimmering, no, Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's a liquid. It has a little pump and the color Prosecco Pop. Okay, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all probably see me haul this. But after I put on my foundation, I put some of this on my hand and then I go like this and I just rub it in. It's going to give you that perfect skin look. And if you're simple and you don't like too much highlight, this alone will be fine. And the good thing about this is you can use, also use it on your body. See that? I know Rihanna just came out with one, and I'm probably going to check that one out too. But this is out already, and I got this a while back. So I was using this. This will make you look younger. Um, because it looks like your skin is super moist and supple. So, yes, yeah, so you can wear this on your whole body. So, for summer and spring, you can put some on your neck, your shoulders, or whatever. So, this is a big bottle. This will last you a long time. Um, so, this is Becca Skin, Perf uh, skin sh Shimmering Skin Perfector. Okay, there you go. Shimmering Skin Perfect. I need to put some on my other hand so I can look even so I don't look messed up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yes, I just started. Um, Yay. Okay. So, y'all need to get my nails done. I, I cut all of them. Cut them. We'll start over. Okay. So, put some on my neck too. So, you don't want to just be shining here and then a whole different story going down over here. So, put some on your neck too. Okay. Um, the next thing I use after that is I go in with the Fenty in uh, Hustler Baby. This is the kilowatt uh, set. And it's this color right here. You can see because this one is not really that shimmery. It's a little bit, but I'm going to show y'all. Like, there you go. It's really shimmery. It's a... Uh, that's what I use. And I usually do that here, 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 here. <laughs> so I'm going everywhere with it. Okay. Um, I wrote all the names of the products in the description box or below. So y'all can't remember. It's down there. Okay. And the color. The next thing I use is I'm doing it in the order that I use it in. Okay. Uh, the next thing I put on is the Too Faced, this is new too, um, Rainbow Strobe. And I just take a little brush and I go right across like that. And I go up and I do it again. I go up and I only put this one right here. I don't put this anywhere else. Okay, because... Um, it's a little, has a little color in it and you don't want, I don't want that on my nose or anything like that. Okay. So I'm getting extra cause I'm doing it as I'm doing the video. Then the last thing I put on is the trophy wife. Okay. Um, by Fenty. So I get the trophy wife and I only put that here too. Okay. So I go here and sometimes I put it on my nose or under here when I'm only wearing it alone, but when I'm wearing it with all this other stuff, I only put it here, right there. That's it. Just one, one stroke like that. I don't go back in for seconds. Okay. Then if it's too much, I take 
a powder puff and I just pat my face and that's it. So that's it. That's all I do. And I always do, like I always run this down my nose with the Prosecco Pop and the Hustle Baby. I don't do it with the Trophy Wife or the Rainbow Stroke because it's too much. Okay. Um, so this is usually what I get. And then my eyeshadow, there's I always use a shimmering or I always use a shimmering highlight in my eyeshadow palette up here as well. If you don't, you know, if you want just some little extra, you can take the killer, the kilowatt hustler baby. Um and just dab it, or you can use a brush if you want that extra. See how that just makes your eyes stand out? Just get that extra. Uh, some fell on my pants. Just get that extra highlight going. So it just opens your eye up. I need to put some more because the other one looks different. It just opens your eye up a lot more. I feel like I'm glowing in the dark over here. See how that looks. Okay, now in person, y'all, in person, this is a lot, okay? <laughs> so this I would suggest evening or for camera only because in person, I look like a glitter bomb. <laughs> like I'm looking in the mirror right now and I look like the Tin Man. But on camera, it looks good. At night, it looks good. So if you're going to go for a daytime look, skip the Trophy Wife and just go with the <laughs> Hustler Baby and the, um, the Prosecco Pop and just for a little sparkle, the Unicorn Stroke only on your cheeks, that's it. But this is good for night or camera. Um, all of the products and their colors are listed below in the description box. Um, thank you. Thank you. I see Hustler Baby and, oh, you use Hustler Baby? Yeah, I, that's my favorite one. Um, yes. I like Trophy Wife as well for evening and camera because it really just pops. Like, see that? That's that trophy wife. And I, I did this video because a lot of you asked me on every other video on my other channels, what highlight are you wearing? And that's, this is what I do. Um, and I always hit up here because it just, I don't know, it just evens out everything. Um, so, that's what I do. And also, I think having the right color is very important because not all highlights look good on different skin tones. So if your skin is lighter, you might want to go for a lighter highlight. Um, this one is a little bit peachy, the Prosecco Pop. So they have one lighter than this. They have one darker than this. They might have two darker than this. So if your skin tone is a little bit darker or lighter, you're going to go down or up a shade in your highlights, okay? Because sometimes they'll look a little ashy on you if you're darker and it'll look a little bronzy on you if you're lighter. So this one though, this one is good for most skin tones because it is color. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, show you what it looks like so it has all the colors in it. it has like a gold a pink but I still it's more silvery than gold um so this is fun for color only and then it has a, a glittery sparkle to it as well but I, I think this you should try it out though first before you buy it if you're going to order online but go to Sephora or something and try it first Okay, because it might not look good on everyone because I didn't think it would look good on me. Um, that's why I mix it because alone it looks a little bit like, um, let me show you what it looks like alone. 
on me. So alone, it kind of looks a little ashy, right? A little bit, but it's still that shimmer. That's why I pair it with the other ones. And it just gives you that ethereal glow. Okay, what's a really good foundation primer? Um, I, my favorite one of all time that I've used that really, really works good is um, that I really like it because it moisturizes, but the, the coconut water one, the Too Faced, I forgot what it's called, but um, it comes in like a little tube and a pump. Right now I'm using, I don't even know what it is. It's a cheap brand, I know. It's a cheap brand I got from Target that I'm using right now because I feel like most of them work good as long as it's a silicone base and you can feel it, um, you know, <clears throat> mattifying. I, that's the ones that I think are good. They even have some with shimmer in it now. But I think anyone would work good. <clears throat> but my favorite is Too Faced, but it's $30. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> HD primer. Um, I like Smashbox for that type. Yeah. And like I've been using this gel eyeliner because I find it super dark darker than liquid. So I've been using that with a little um, eyeliner brush to get that fierce dark look. And, mm -hmm. but that is what I've been using. And I'm using Fenty Foundation and Lancome um, Concealer in the tube. So that's what I use. The gel liner, I use the, I think it's either Maybelline or no, it's in it's it's NYX. Sorry. NYX. <clears throat> it's NYX. Yeah, but I had like the the gel liner and the brush is really tricky because you have to get it perfect and you have to get that line straight. So I just use wipes to get it straight. <laughs> this is when you have time. You know, I grab the liquid when I'm in a hurry. <clears throat> thank you thank you thank you yes I look like the pearls <laughs> I got the earrings too y'all coordinating today so yeah when I have a lot of time I'll do the gel do you put corrector under your concealer yes I use the Becca um, color corrector and it's in like a little pot and I use, it's like a, mm, I want to say light pink color, but I put that under there. And then I put the concealer, the Lancome concealer, and then I do my foundation and then I do the powder to set it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a lot of layers, but it works. <laughs> yes. So. I find, I find that Fenty Foundation is the best skin color match for me personally in cosmetics right now. And so that's why I'm sticking with it. I like it. Um, I wish it were more like full coverage. I wish you didn't have to build it so much. But I mean, I do. But I, it, I haven't had a color match that good for a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How do you prevent split ends from forming when you straighten your porty hair? It's called a wig. <laughs> this is a wig, but this part in the front, this is my real hair. It's coming out. I, I took this uh, lace front and made it into a half wig. Um, but I spray a, uh, a spray on my hair before I flat iron it. It's, it's a protection spray, a thermal protection spray. And then afterwards, I put, I seal it with like some oil 
maybe like a little bit of uh, coconut oil or um, any any type of oil that you have to seal your ends with it at, after you do it because they get dry. But I need to cut mine anyways. Okay, so this is just a wig, child. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you. I um I have to I was gonna do a review on this wig, but it's been so long since I had it. This is the wig. If you guys were wondering. It's a Swiss lace Baruna. I didn't get it in um Yeah, I made it into a half wig and I got it in the color, I think 1B. Yes. So that's what I got. I think it is a blend, human blend. I think it's a human blend. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time? Um, like right now, I'm using the Naked 3 palette right here. But I think my favorite of all time, my go-to is, um, it's a Too Faced one, I know that. It's um, either the Chocolate Bonbon, that's the one in the pink, or the Peach um, by Too Faced. Those are the ones I use the most. Um, I have a Morphe palette that I got from Sephora with all the, you know, pretty reds in it. And I, I love that for like drama. But when I'm, my everyday looks usually go for the Too Faced or the Naked palettes. Mm -hmm. The Fenty creased on you. Um, I think a lot of foundations crease. You just have to really put a lot of setting powder and a lot of primer where it creases. Like if it's creasing on you here, put a bunch of primer right here on your on where it creases and then put concealer and then put the foundation and then powder and then take some highlighter and put some highlighter over it. So it reflects the light off of the creasing, you know, so especially if you're trying to take pictures or if you're out at night, that's going to reflect light away from that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Which products have I hit pan on? Pan. Um, I really, what? I'm trying to think. I mean, powder, of course, you always do that. Um, but I really, I really haven't hit pan on anything yet. Um, I'm guilty of buying stuff and new stuff before I run out of the old stuff. <laughs> because stuff comes out so fast. But I think I'm going to hit pan on this me, this hustler baby first. I really do. It's getting low. You see that? There's a dent in it. There's a dent. <laughs> So it's coming. I'm sure in a couple of weeks, I'm going to hit pan on this. Uh, <laughs> but when I did hit pan on makeup in the past, it was usually just my um, like compact powders. And that's about it. I've never hit pan really on an eyeshadow because I have so many palettes. I need straight up Vaseline not to look like the desert with that on. <laughs> oh, I saw a video where this girl was using Aquaphor as a highlighter. And uh, I think it was, what was her name? She's been on YouTube forever. Uh, anyway, well, she was using it and it looked really good. It looked real natural. Like if you have dry skin. I, I put pure mineral, I think that's what it's called, is clear and very silky. Yeah, I used to use um, bare minerals. 
uh, when I was in my 20s. <laughs> I heard Too Faced has new unicorn highlighter drops. I saw the drops and um, I prefer the powder uh, because I felt like the drops were not giving me the glitter that this was. So it's less glittery. It just gives you more of a shine. Okay. Cause I went and I tried out all those products in Sephora. When I go to Sephora, I'm in there for like an hour. I'm just like playing in the makeup. I go in there with like a little bit of makeup on, like my foundation and my eyebrows and my mascara. And then I go in there and I play in the eyeshadow and do an eyeshadow look. Um, I do highlights. So I go and play it to see what I like. That way I know what to buy. So I go in looking plain. I come out looking fierce. Um, and I feel like that's a good thing. That's a good tip to do if you want to try new products. That way you can see how it's going to look on you when you get home. Do you think you will ever flash all your makeup in your collection? Oh, oh, finish. Nope. I'll probably give some to my daughter. And <laughs> my, my daughters, when they get to junior high, they're going to have all the nice stuff. Um... I probably finished one of my Too Faced palettes because I really like those. But I go, I just alternate between a lot of them. But it's only, you know, before I did YouTube and saw all the stuff that was out, I didn't use to buy makeup like that. I And plus, um, I just had like one or two or three eyeshadow palettes and mostly drugstore. And that's what I would use. But when you are used to good quality, when you get used to good quality and then you see new products come out and you want to see how much better this product is than that one or the different colors and how different you're going to look with it or just because you like the packaging, you start buying palettes. But I've stopped buying palettes unless I really, really, really like it, you know, unless I know I can use it for a long time. Because like last year, I used to buy a, maybe a palette every couple of months or every month. But now it's like maybe one or like maybe three this year. That's it. You know, three for the whole year. No, I'm done. <laughs> I think I have every color that exists now. And they can't come out with any new colors that I don't already have. <laughs> they can just put them in a new package and give them a new name. <laughs> you have a grail mascara i still haven't found one i i love better than sex by Too faced that's the only one i use i think i've bought so many of those i have empty like empty tubes everywhere i gotta throw them some out um i was the same when you started buying good quality i never went back nope can't go back Um, I saw the documentary makeup samples having facial matter, oh, fecal matter, and staff in their swatches. Be careful in these or high-end stores. It was YouTube. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's some stuff in there. But, you know, um, I try to use all the little things that they have in there, and I wash my face, and, you know, there's fecal matter everywhere, okay? And your makeup too. Everybody has it. It's sad, but it's true. I like. I'm not a germaphobe, and I and I like to think that um, I have a good immune system, and I had never never been affected so far. <laughs> yeah, it's germs everywhere. Just wash your face when you get home, and wash your hands, and when you when you flush the toilet, wash your hands. Close the toilet. Wash your hands again. You can't get away from it. It's, just, it's everywhere. Because other people don't, don't wash their hands or close their toilet. And they're going to come touch you or touch something you touch. So you're going to get it anyway. <laughs> it's going to find you. <laughs> you said, but you prefer your own fecal matter. Oh, yep. 
<laughs> that's funny. Well, that's, you know, that's understandable. <laughs> Sorry. But remember, you when you go out in public, you get in other people's too. <laughs> I think if you swab anything, there's people matter on it. That's sad, but it's true. Thank you. Y'all, my Yeti cup. This is my favorite cup because it keeps stuff hot for like four to five hours. And it keeps stuff cold for like eight hours. One time I left this in my car with like ice water in it. I went like a bunch of places. I came back. It was still ice water. So if you're looking for a good cup for the summertime or the winter, this Yeti, I see why it's expensive because it works. Like this the coffee will stay hot all day. Well, half the day anyway. <laughs> so... Have I tried Jeffree Star makeup? Uh, no, I haven't tried their makeup. Um, and Kylie lip kits. Um, I tried the fake Kylie lip kits from <laughs> Wish.com, but no, I like I don't like giving my money to people that I don't really like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I have a lot of Fenty. I have some Lashed from Black China. I got some. Um, I got a lot of Too Faced. I like Too Faced. Mm, and things like that. So, um, I kind of only support people's brands that I like. I don't buy it just because everybody's behind it. But I feel like I watched enough of the reviews on it to know that um, I didn't like some of those colors, especially the Jeffree Star colors and lipsticks. I don't think they would look good on me. And um, yeah, I like Fenty Highlight a lot better. <laughs> Where is your gold goblet? <laughs> it's downstairs. That's for later. I'm drinking coffee. It's morning. I can't drink coffee out of my gold goblet. <laughs> your dad is 53 and he uses Yeti cups every day. Yay. Your daddy younger than my husband. <laughs> when? Oh, okay. So anyway, I thank y'all for tuning in. I just wanted to share what I put on my face. Just in case y'all were wondering. I'm probably going to share this video um, after it's uploaded and stuff to other groups and stuff because I don't know if everyone is subscribed to this channel if y'all aren't subscribed please click the subscribe button for me okay <laughs> you say your dad is fair game thanks for the tip <laughs> uh, thank you yes thank you I've been looking glowy oh because also I've been exfoliating a lot more and I've been using this new moisturizer called um uh, it's i think it's called drunk elephant it comes in a like green and white jar i got it at sephora it is a hydro hydro moisturizer so it has a lot of moisture and it retains the water in your skin and it's new it's like a new technology that everyone's trying to use now and so the lady at Sephora gave me a sample and I was like, I loved it the entire week. Like my skin was perfect. So I went and bought it. It was like $79 or $70 or something like that. But it's worth it. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, Rena Goddess, if you're new. Thank you for subscribing. Have I lost weight? Yes, I have. Have you noticed? <laughs> Yes, I've lost weight. Um, I really don't work hard at it. I just make conscious decisions every day. <laughs> um, and I walk on the treadmill for like an hour. 
and that's pretty much it, you know. Um, and I, lately, I've been doing the Atkins um, like breakfast drink. They have these little drinks, like meal replacement drinks. I did that last week, and I'm probably gonna do it again this week. And I just do one for lunch and breakfast, and then I eat dinner, maybe like a salad or chicken and vegetables. And I do a little eat a little carbs still because I'm only doing I'm only doing the drinks so I can afford more calories. I have my coffee. Um, I do tea for drinks, you know, uh, or water. And that's pretty much it. Mm hmm. It's not really, um, I'm not trying to lose it super fast because when you do that, you gain it right back because you're depriving yourself. And if I want cake, I'm eating cake. If I, like the other day I went to IHOP and had crepes, <laughs> you know, so if I want something, I'll eat it. <laughs> I don't deprive myself, but I'm not sitting there eating it every day, all day. That's the difference. Thank you. It's a dra Atkins drink in the store. It sure is. It's like by the Slim Fast and stuff. And they have, um, they're really good. They have mocha ones that taste like iced coffee. That's the one I get. So it's like you're drinking iced coffee for breakfast. But it's like 160 calories. It fills you up. And it tastes good. Okay, It tastes like a, like a Starbucks drink. So you can't lose with that, you know. Um, then, like I have a snack, maybe some trail mix or or something like that, for some guacamole or something. But yeah. <laughs> and yes, I will eat dessert if I want it. Yes, I will eat cheesecake if I want it. Because if I don't get it, I'm going to go get it and I'm going to like pig out on it. So don't deprive yourself. If you want something... And it's like maybe once a week, twice a week, great. But don't want something every day. I, I just eat jelly beans when I want something sweet. I'm like, from Easter. <laughs> um, yeah. When I have that sugar, need need that sugar, I just eat some jelly beans from my kids' Easter baskets or some of their candy somewhere. <laughs> right? Overnight oats are the bomb. Oh, oatmeal. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard that's really good for you. It's in my little book. Oats are really good for your uh, something. Hold on. <laughs> it's good for something. Hold on. <laughs> there, I write it in. Mm. This, is, this might be the wrong book. Yeah, that's the wrong book. Anyway, it's good for something. <laughs> Let me look at it. Oh, healthy hair. Oats are good for healthy hair. You see? Um, aging well. Let me tell y'all what's good for aging. Turmeric, pomegranate, green tea, raw cocoa, cinnamon, wild salmon, blueberries, and asparagus. And for bright under eyes, I've been doing a lot of this, um, celery, watermelon, greens, beets, grapes, and asparagus. And for glowing skin, you don't need this highlight. Pumpkin, lemon, greens, sweet potato, pomegranate, and acorn squash. Okay. Well hydrated skin, salmon, walnuts, flaxseed, hemp seed, avocado, cucumber, and mushrooms. So this book, I think I showed it to y'all yesterday. Eat pretty, live well. I got it at Target. It's like a food journal. You write down everything you eat, and then it gives you cool foods to eat for certain things about beauty. Like if you want to improve your skin, hair, da 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 da. And it tells you what a lot of these foods do health-wise as well. So this is a cool book. Um, watermelon prevents 
Sun damage supports anti-aging and hormone production. Uh, so, cucumber boosts skin elasticity. So, get this. Because, you know, if you go, you know, I go to Salada sometimes. It's where they make the salad in front of you and you can pick what you want. I usually look at this before I go in there and, and get all the stuff that I need. And I tell them to throw it in my salad. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I need some cucumber. I need some celery. I need some hmm, pumpkin seeds. I need, <laughs> And, you know, they have all this stuff. So I tell them what I want in it. And then I'll get the green tea. And there you go. All that stuff in one meal. You don't have to worry about going to the grocery store. You just go to the salad spot and tell them to throw everything in there. <laughs> I'm jealous, girl. You have time to pamper yourself and it shows. Thank you. Um, well, I try. I mean, I'm not just going to. If I have the time, if you have the time, you should do it, you know, or do it at night while you sleep. Put, put a mask on or, you know, um, do a mm, microderm scrub or exfoliation before you go to bed. I mean, if, you, if that's all you're going to have time for, do that because that helps your skin too. I know they use oak for chicken pox. Oh. You're looking for a sugar daddy, but they are so ugly. You better get you some alcohol and call it a day. <laughs> Y'all, I used to be a mortician. I used to have to work with dead people and morticians. So anything alive looked good to me. <laughs> um, dry brushing shower oh okay yeah never tried that i should try that huh? i have real sensitive skin though so i don't know <laughs> yep get you some get you some prescript get you some prescription contacts that are the wrong prescription stick them in your eyeball and you won't see what he looks like he'll just be a blur Okay. <laughs> if it's that bad, that's what you got to do. <laughs> Dry brushing is important for losing weight if you don't want saggy skin. Just saying. Okay. I will, tr I will try it. Thank you for the suggestion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stay hydrated, people. Yes. Get some water in your life or some tea. I think a lot of people don't drink enough water, and I had to get on my kids about that. Um, I send them to school every day with water in their water bottles, but I need to make sure they drink another one after they get home. Thank you. I try to drink. I always try to have a drink with me, either tea, coffee, or water. Something. But you got to have a drink with you at all times. That's why I bought me a nice travel mug. <laughs> you know, you don't be embarrassed carrying around like a, a house cup. I call it a house cup in your car. <laughs> Get you some cute mugs and it, it, it will inspire you to drink more water or tea or something. That's one of my tricks. Ooh, 30 minutes of cardio right after you wake up to, on an empty stomach is magical. Burn twice the calories. Really? Kids don't want water. Stop abusing them. Uh -huh. My kids love water. Oh, my God. My kids love water. I think it's because... <laughs> Y'all, I have the, the thing where I give my kids all the sweet... I let them have all the sweets that they want and they don't even want them anymore. They want fruit. They want vegetables. They want water. So you just overdose them on the bad stuff and they don't want it anymore. 
you want some Kool-Aid, you want some juice, you want some sweet, you know, um, Minute Maid crap, you know, and I'm like, no, I just want some water. You know, they get tired of it. It's like, and then they prefer water. So I overdosed them and now they don't even like, they don't like Pop-Tarts anymore. They don't like sweet drinks anymore unless it's like a Capri Sun that they're going to put in their lunch. Or sometimes they get soda, but it's like Sprite or something. But that's it. They don't go for all that stuff anymore because I overdosed them on it. They hate it. They don't even, they won't even eat um, ice cream that much anymore. They want yogurt. I'm like, okay. Mm, guess I did well. <laughs> it's called reverse psychology. It is. What age will I let them wear makeup? Um, I, I told Layla, my oldest, she's about to go to sixth grade, junior high next year. I told her she could wear it then, but not full face. She can do some blush, some highlight, some mascara, some lip, but that's it. Because her skin is probably getting ready to go through some changes and probably not going to be the best thing to put a bunch of foundation and powder on it. She don't really need it though. Mm -hmm. Do you use reverse psychology for everything you want? Mm, not when they think I'm using it. Then I use regular psychology. Yes, I kind of do. I kind of use it. Or I play the victim. <laughs> or, you know, it just it just depends on the situation. But if it works, it works, you know. Mission accomplished. Um if if you've known me long enough, you know what I'm doing. But I'll make it so logical that you have to agree to it. <laughs> I should have been a lawyer. You still have free will, basically. I'll 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 give you the story, I'll give you some examples, I'll break it down, and I'll let you make your own decision. But what I've given you is biased, and you will probably choose what I want you to choose. <laughs> so that's how I do it. And then I use Google as backup. Uh-uh, go look it up. It's on Google. <laughs> or I'll throw another successful person in the mix. This is what such and such did. That's how you get it. That's how you do it. You throw somebody in there that's already where they want to be. You tell them Google has it on there. And then you say, and then you'll just say, okay, wait and see. And then you stop. You don't push it any further. If you push it further, they're not going to believe you. If you say it quick, get it out the way and say, okay, you're going to see. And you're not trying to push it. They're going to be like, let me go look. Let me go see. Let me go find out. And there you go. You don't push. Because if you push, they get suspicious and they rebel. You just say it one time, give them what they need to know, and walk away. <laughs> so, that's the trick. You, when the people that push, 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 people just going to push back even harder. You got to get in and get out. That way they know that you don't have an agenda. You just wanted to help them out a little bit, drop something on them, and then you're out. <laughs> have you watched A Quiet Place? No, I haven't seen that. Is it on Netflix? Is it a movie? Is it in the theater? Layla's so pretty. Yeah, my baby is beautiful. She doesn't, you know what? She doesn't feel like she's beautiful until um, she gets her hair done and she's in a nice outfit. I So I tell her, well, you need to dress like that every day. You need to get up early and do, you know, get a nice outfit every day. She didn't want to sleep though. I said, okay, next year you have to wake up a whole hour early for junior high. So that means you got to wake up uh, an hour and a half early. So you can look decent. <laughs> You're going to be up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's a horror movie. Ooh. What's it called again? 
Mm. Quiet place. Okay. What is your name? Slime Club? <laughs> You're very smart. I learned a lot from you on your other channel. Thank you. <laughs> you said, what's my name? Because I have this L right here. Is that why you're asking? My name, like, if y'all are my friend on Facebook, y'all know my name. How you doing? <laughs> and the good thing, I can share my joy with Layla. Because her name's Layla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'm probably going to go live on my other channel, the She, Res the, the she Res 7 channel, for some relationship advice. Okay. If y'all aren't subscribed to that channel, it's She Res 7 one with, I have bangs on the picture. Like, bangs, I think. Yeah. Okay. Go switch over. I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet. What should I talk about? Y'all got a topic? I'll let y'all choose since y'all are up early and on here. Do my parents have any opinion on your interest in mystical things? Um, they did at first, but I'm I'm almost 40, so they can't do nothing. <laughs> they can't have an opinion. I'm I'm grown. Um <laughs> getting an ex back, I don't believe in that. Move on. Do you believe a handsome man can fall for an ugly woman if she got money? Mm -hmm, sure do. Um, do my kids use fluoride? Nope. They they use Tom's fluoride free. So do I. Being submissive and reverse psychology. Mm -hmm, that's a good one. Jealous women. We don't see the haters. <laughs> have you ever been possessed no I think I was born possessed <laughs> okay so let me go to the other channel <laughs> but thank y'all for stopping by it's James Christian I, yeah I think he was raised Christian but um, and he still has those moral beliefs, of course. Submission and reverse psychology. I think that's a good topic. I also want, you know, I thought about talking about how um, looking your absolute best if you want the absolute best. Okay. Some of these ladies are walking out the house bare minimum thinking they're going to get them you know, somebody that's going to take care of them for the rest of their lives. They walking out looking like they finna go to work at McDonald's. Okay. So might talk about that too. <laughs> you got to do the most to get the most. Okay. Men are not going to walk across the room for that. So I'm going to be over there. Y'all come find me. All right. Bye.